going to church. You want to go? Yes. I think we could do home church, actually, because it's so rainy. Yeah. You want to do that? Is it rainy? Lila! Room, room, room. Leon, you look like Tarzan with your hair. I want all of you What? Oh, he's Who's that little boy? Is that Leon? That's a good boy right there. I love him so much. He's so smart. He's so funny. You're so funny. Say love you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're just riding the bike around the driveway. Hey, Leon. Oh, I'm riding. Not bike. Huh? I'm bike. I'm bike. I'm oh, you want to go? Goodbye. I'm bike. I'm bike. This is the first morning, maybe this season, maybe since last year, since last rainy season, that we woke up and it's really rainy out. And I really love it. I love the rain. I love a break from the hot, intense sunlight. Now I'm top one buck, mate. Top one buck. Say what? My child. My child. My child. My child. She says she likes it, but not a lot. Sometimes. The other day we went to a beach club called Bubble Beach. Is that anyone you like? Bubble? You like Bubble Beach? <laughs> Leon, did you like Bubble Beach? Yes. Don't go Bubble Beach. You want to go again? No. I remember Teddy Beach. But it's here and it's a little bike. Look, did you like Bubble Beach? Yeah. You want to go today? Yeah, we go Bobby. We go Bobby. Lila! Lila! Tell you guys something. What? I had a word from God. You got a word from God? Mm -hmm. Right now or the other day you're talking about? The other day. Okay, let's tell them. I had a word like, like this. I'll help you okay. explain it. You want to sit down with it? Two nights ago, Luke and I were reading the Bible, the children's Bible. I was reading it to him. And we were at the part where Solomon is building the temple. Mm -hmm. The temple is the house where God the Father is going to live, yeah. right? And he's Solomon is the son of David, and he is the first one to give God a house. And Luke goes, Mommy, stop. I'm getting something. It was like, you got to download. you got to scroll. That's what it's called. And when you get a download from heaven, the Bible says that's like a scroll. Yeah. So he got a download, and he said, Mommy, I see people building a house. A house. <laughs> yeah? For God, and then God got a house for them. And God is building a house for them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that is actually so, I mean, I know this is from God. It is so profoundly spiritual because we are building a house for God. Yes. And God's building a house for us. Mm -hmm. And there's so many ways you can talk, think about that because... God is, we're helping God make a house, and God's helping us, we're making a house for Him. Yeah. Helping. We are His house. We're and blessed. Jesus is the cornerstone. He's like the foundation, the center of the house that holds it all together. Yeah. Okay, and so then I just read, I found this scripture that I had saved on my computer. I had saved this scripture. I think I might have put it on the end screen of a video. And I just read Luke this scripture, and he goes, Mommy, did you write that? I said, no, this is Ephesians 2, 19 to 22. I'm going to start it. Like, I see it like the number. The kingdom of faith is now your home country, okay? God is building a home. He is using us all, irrespective of how we got here and what he is building. He's using all of us. It doesn't all matter us. what all your skills us on, are. All of us on the planet. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes, we have the Holy Spirit power. Amen. And be on the earth. He used the apostles and prophets for the foundation. They set the foundation. Now he's using you, fitting you brick by brick, stone by stone, with Christ Jesus as the cornerstone that holds all the parts together. We My see it taking life. shape day after day, a holy temple built by God, all of us built into it, a temple in which God is quite, quite at home. Luke is just a little boy, only five years old, but look how mighty God is using him. You have a big destiny on your life. Yes. Don't you forget it. <laughs> we may go away.
Don't forget it. It's so beautiful. Don't forget it. Where I go away. I've been playing this. I found some really beautiful Burmese worship music and we've been playing it. Zane Wynn really enjoys it. He said actually they know he knows the singer, he's a famous singer in Burma. from the French bakery. I have that. Le Fournil, our favorite French bakery. Oh, look at you. Just go for it, Leon. You like almonds? So good. <laughs> we don't do this all the time. <laughs> My took ones. Not every day. <laughs> Push-ups! Push put, put this on TikTok! <laughs> Lila! <laughs> Man, what are you doing? Are you a karate kid? Are you a ninja? Who likes water puddles? Mine. These are called a puddle, Leon. Mine is no, no, no. Puddle. Walk this way, Leon. Come over this way. Mine. Don't touch Mine. Leon. <laughs> Mine. Who is that? This? Mine. Mine is Look. <laughs> Those tiny little shacks. I don't know if somebody lives right there, but a lot of the a lot of times they have the Burmese workers come and they live in these little shacks temporarily as they can do the construction on a building or a house. Look at this. This one you can see there's electricity. I don't know if somebody's it doesn't look like anyone's living there though. Wow. These fell off, his training wheels, I mean. But he's I think he's old enough to do it. Come on. It's all about balance. Just say, that was so cute, Luke. I'm so happy to have this plane. He's so happy to have this plane. Joseph. Joseph. And Sana and Wynn is so happy to have the bike too. <laughs> he, I know he's happy, I can tell. it. He loves riding this bike. Me too. I never ride a bike like this before. I know. I never had a bike like this. I always should have had it. Like Say thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you for all our subscribers. May God bless you. Oh my God, look at this. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Those things will attack you. Leon, you want to go say hi? So <laughs> 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 go <Come> say hi. Here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're coming. They're coming, Leon. <laughs> The cloud hovers over the mountain. Yeah, Look, what did you get? Got the cups and. You just did this. We, you want to do communion? No. No. Let me can open this, please. Open, open, open. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. Luke loves taking communion. Okay, Leah. Luke loves. You got, you got us three cups. Who's this for? 
We just use grape juice and crackers from 7-Eleven. We do a one. I'm going to remind everyone that we, we should be doing communion. I hate that word, should. Excuse me. People don't like the word hate either. A lot of people forget to do communion, especially if you're not plugged into a church. So make sure you remember to do communion because it will bless your life. I'm not forgetting. I, I know we can't. I love this. Okay. I can get this one, please. This bread represents the body of Jesus Christ that he broke for us when he died on the cross. Yes. To forgive us, to redeem us, so we can build our house in his name for his kingdom. Let his kingdom come. He broke his body so we can be a part of his kingdom. So we can build a house for him and he can build a house for us. And he spilled his blood. Let's take the bread and eat it. Thank you, Jesus. Now he spilled his blood so we can be redeemed, so we can be set free, so we can be cleansed by the power of his blood. He cleanses up, cleanses us of all shame, all sin, you know, so we can walk in righteousness and in truth and in peace. We can have a peace in our hearts and a clean conscience. conscience. So when we do something bad, we know we're forgiven. When we cover ourselves with his blood, we drink this blood in remembrance of him, Lord. Okay, drink. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm sitting here editing okay. videos. And it's so funny because Luke's talking in the video and I'm, it's playing out loud. And then like Leon listens to it and then copies himself. You think you're funny, right? Cactus, and it matches your shirt. Leon, what did you do with that cactus yesterday? No. I just asked Nam about whether or not Sade Wen had a bicycle when he lived in Myanmar. And she said he had one, it was really old and it's broken. And I was like, Does, was he happy when he got this bicycle? Because a man came into our restaurant, now he's our good friend, and he got Luke and Sade Wen that bicycle. And she said he, Zane Wen had wanted a bicycle and he asked Nam, can he get a bicycle? And she said, wait, wait, wait. And look what happened. God gave him a bicycle. God brought someone to our restaurant and he got Zane Wen a bicycle and nobody had to ask for it. Isn't that just an amazing blessing? We're helping Luke do his homework. And I really like this one, Mark. I think that you're learning a lot. I mean, from what I'm seeing, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Gotta help Luke do his homework. I can do it by myself. You can That's what parents, that's what mommies and daddies are for, to help you, right? Yeah, do I help you? Mm -hmm. And teachers. Yeah, but the teachers don't really help you with your homework because that's for home, right? Yeah. Do you like homework? Mm -hmm. It's like a puzzle, right? We've been eating a lot of like potatoes, potato, yeah. pasta, and rice. It's like all we've been eating. And I'm like, I'm so bored of this. I want to eat something different. I want to make couscous. couscous. Luke's never even really had couscous, I don't think. And it's so easy to make. Yeah. You're going to see. I'll just have. I'm a green and eat. You never had couscous? No. This is like little grains, like little sands couscous. of pasta. Yeah. And I had no idea how easy it is to make. All it is is a half a cup of couscous, two third cups of boiling water. You stir it together and you let it sit for five minutes. Oh my gosh, why have I not been eating this every day? At least once a week, because you can turn this into salad, have it as like a pasta with some sauce on top. You need to fill this done. You want to film this? Yeah. Okay. I want to do this. Okay, you scoop it out and put it in here. So then we've got our couscous. We eat something every day. Different. You want to eat something different yeah. every day. Like, excuse me. Luke says he's the pro mixer. You can mix it up. He smells different. Now wait five minutes, okay? okay. Step away. <laughs> Look what I already, I have some meatballs though. Tomato sauce and meatballs that we're going to have on top. Yeah. Don't. 
Oh, you almost forgot. You almost forgot. No. Let's go get it. Let's go see. I don't know. Has it been five minutes yet? Go check. Hold on. One, two, three. One. We, we need a fork. One. Do you say you feel shy? Yeah. You mean, I think you mean One. you feel impatient, One, right? Two, three, four. Oh, wow. Look. It's pretty. Now we gotta fluff it up, okay? Oh, it's what? Fluff it like. How you do that? Yeah, just like, try. Fluff it up. Like this? Yeah. It's like fluffing. It's like a pillow mm -hmm. with a bunch of cutting the leaves. Okay, the couscous with tomato sauce, a pork meatball, and a little scoop of ricotta cheese. olive oil and salt. Good? You recommend? Do you think the more that you eat it, the more you like it? No, I don't think. You don't like it? I, I like it, so I don't think. <laughs> I don't think you understood what I said. I don't think Do you like it? You know, maybe the first bite you didn't like it, and the second bite you do like it. Yeah. Just like the... Dur drink. 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 Yeah. Luke ate the whole thing and he said his last bite was the favorite. So you would recommend that. We're gonna make it again mm -hmm. next week. Maybe we'll make it with a roasted chicken. That'd be good. Yeah. Take a taco, buy more water. Buys, Watts buy more water for the house. You know, actually, before you even had that word, like a few, for the last few weeks, maybe months, I don't know. Not I've been, months. I've been thinking about how our spiritual life, our spiritual walk is like a house. Mm -hmm. And we have to keep it clean because dirty little monkeys get in mm -hmm. and they mess everything up. Yes. And it's an ongoing process of mm -hmm. cleaning out each room and kicking mm -hmm. the monkeys out. Mm -hmm. So you can have clear mind mm -hmm. and you can do God's will mm -hmm. on earth. You can obey him mm -hmm. and you can hear his voice. Now do you I'm understand clean... what I'm getting? This yeah, night? now. Now I'm going to clean the house. You're going to clean the house. And... You know, a few days ago, I was thinking about how, like, I want to make this house beautiful. I'm going to be back soon. But we have okay. to make sure we pay attention to our house okay. inside. Okay. And what were you and I were talking about? The walls? God, walls and the... Like the... We were talking about the characteristics of the house. The wall is finished. We're still working on the roof. I'm working on <laughs> you the are? roof. But why do we have wall, walls? Uh, The monkeys... Well, yeah, to protect ourselves from outside forces, wind, Bugs. bad people, right? In real life, like oh, you have that walls on your house to protect yourself from yeah, the elements yeah, yeah, like outside. Yeah, like this. <laughs> Wall. Yeah, walls and windows. And just like in your spiritually, you have to protect yourself. Right? We plead the blood of Christ. That's why we take to communion too, mm -hmm. so we can clean our house. And I'm we can do it again. stand right before God. And what do you guys think about being the house of God. It says that in Hebrews, I forget which, what scripture, but a, a Hebrews goes into a lot about being the God's house. So the Bible uses a lot of metaphors, parables and metaphors about the kingdom of God, how it's like a house or we're like a tree. We're like connected to God, like a branch of a tree. He's like the, the vine and mm -hmm. we are connected to him. Mm -hmm. And it's like water as well. And we, and we're wind and what else? I was thinking about another one. A house, a tree, a kingdom. I'm a war right now. You said you were building a city. Didn't yeah. you say that? Yeah. The house is really done. Yeah? Yeah, the house is done. You think so? Yeah. I think there's always more work we can do. Still working on the floor. Like the walls and roofs. We we're got. we going to try and work on the... The floor, the floor's not done yet. Just remember, keep your eyes on oh, what yeah. is unseen and not the seen, on the eternal, not the external. Are you being a smarty? Are you just being a joker? I'm just copying you, all see. <laughs> not the voice. You're right. Stay humble. Stay humble. Stay hungry. Keep your eyes on the prize, which is Jesus. Amen.